Yo! What is up, my fellow DDP disciples out there? It is me, it is me, it is Michael D. Mullins here for Team DDP Yoga.com. I uh, just wanted to check in with you guys real quick uh, with a quick update. I tend to ramble, so it probably won't be quick at all. Um, but uh, I just want to check in real quick. I want to thank you guys, first off, uh, for sending all your uh, awesome positivity towards my 120-day uh, pictures. Um, and that's what kind of inspired me to, uh, to put this blog up today. I know I kind of hit on it a little bit uh, during my first week, uh, first blog, uh, episode one. And uh, Miss Rozzy, who commented me uh, earlier this week, uh, kind of encouraged me to uh, do this blog again through her blog that she put together uh, about the scale. See, my 120-day pictures were posted, and uh, I was really freaking out this month. Um, as the weeks progressed, the first week I lost 2.8 pounds. The second week I didn't lose anything. I stayed the same. The third week I lost 0.2 pounds, and the fourth week, zero, nothing, exactly the same. So I started to really freak out. I'm like, am I hitting a, uh, am I hitting a um, plateau? What's going on? Things aren't working like they used to. I'm killing my workouts. My workouts have stepped up to beyond the next level. I was doing fat burner and energy most days. Sometimes I threw in a stand up or a strength builder. But now I'm doing like diamond cutter like four or five days a week. I'm doing black, double black diamond. I'm doing strength build. I'm doing all like the extreme workouts. And I'm like, what the hell? My friggin' diet uh, is awesome. And uh, I'm not losing the weight. So I was kind of freaking out thinking I'm hitting a plateau. I didn't understand why my workouts have, uh, have increased so much. But I'm not seeing the results in the scale. So I know I said this back in day one uh, on my blog. But you can't freak out about the scales. If you look at my 120 day pictures, the progress from day 90, I mean from day 60 to day 120 is only 11 pounds. 11 pounds. In two months, 11 pounds. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but if you look at my pictures, that 11 pounds looks like 30 pounds. I'm, I'm serious. It, I, I have leaned out, I have grown muscle, my chest is like looks muscular. I've turned that 11, 20 pounds from flabby into an almost, almost muscular build. So that brings me to the point, I know a lot of you people freak out about the scales. I know there's a lot of you out there that'll step on the scale once a day and freak out that it's not coming off. But I just want to assure you that it may not be showing on the scale, but your scale may be lying to you because where it's not coming off on the scale, if you're doing the right thing, it's coming off in inches. I know there's a lot of people out there who are doing like fad diets and stuff that that uh, that claim that oh it's all muscle that I put on it has nothing to do with uh, four boxes of hamburger helper and Velveeta macaroni and cheese I had for dinner it's all the muscle that I put on um, and I don't buy that excuse for a lot of people who you know use that as an excuse to overeat oh yeah I overate but it was muscle it's not it has nothing to do with the the box of uh, 12 pack of donuts that I ate but I really do think, and I know it's muscle, because I looked at my pictures, and I see it in my arms. I have muscles that I've never had before, and I know, I'm like, I am putting on muscle here. I can't believe it. And uh, that's just where I want to say, if you look at my pictures from day 60 to a day 120, that's only 11 pounds. It seriously looks like 30 pounds, and I've leaned, and I'm toned, and I feel amazing. So scale freaks out there. Lay off the scale. It's not everything. It's something, but it's not everything. I know we got tons of scale fanatics out there that freak out whenever they don't see anything come off the scale. But I'm telling you, you keep hitting it. You do the right thing. It's going to come off in inches, and it eventually will come off in the scale, too. So that's what I want to hit real quick. Uh, I'm going to post a picture of my 120-day uh, picture with this blog. I put a really cool progression shot inspired by uh, Russ the Tuba Geek. He had put one up of him uh, from... I think it was like 100 and 150 days, I think he was into it. But uh, my 120 day progression shot just shows how great this program is. Um, it really is unbelievable. It, it sounds cliche because everyone says, oh, it changed my life. But it, it, it literally, not even figuratively, I hate when people misuse the word literally. Because if you misuse the word literally, it means the exact opposite of its intended purposes. You see like sportscasters do it all the time. He literally sprouted wings to grab that ball. No, he figuratively 
sprouted wings to grab that ball. He didn't grow wings to catch the ball. But um, I, it literally changed my life. I'm not even joking. If you knew me before, I know a lot of you guys see me on these blogs and talk to me on the site. And I seem like a great guy and a happy guy. And I'm really happy right now. And I always was positive and happy, but I was in a really dark place right before I started this program about 120 days ago. My body had broken down. Um, Ten years in the independent scene, wrestling uh, four nights a week just destroyed my hip and my knees and my feet. And I was just a mess. And, you know, when you're hurting that bad, when you're in that much pain and you can't do things. I couldn't do things with my girlfriend. I, I didn't go out with my friends. I'd get home from work and I'd sit on the couch and just lay there all night until it was time to go to bed. I'd go to my bed. And that starts wearing on you after a while and the depression sets in and coupled with the pain meds. Uh, that, that doesn't help the situation. It masks the problem, but it creates a whole other slew of problems. So I was literally a mess. And DDP Yoga gave to me what no doctor, what no pain pill, what no physical therapy, not what no surgery could do for me. DDP Yoga not only gave me my health back, my strength back, it also gave me my life back, my happiness back, my confidence back. I feel like a whole new man since doing this program. And I know it seems like a lot of overkill to my friends because I'm always ranting about this program. You have no idea what this did for me. I've said this before, but I truly feel like I was drowning. And in the midst of that drowning, DDP threw his hand into the water and pulled me out through his program. And I'm forever indebted for what he's done for me, not just for my health and for my fitness, but the pain issues. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys have pain issues, but I don't know if you guys really know what it's like to be completely debilitated by your pain. It's a, it's a dark, dark place to know that you're trapped within your own body. I was 29 years old. I felt like I was 80. I really did. I acted like I was 80. I had pretty much given up. And the fact that I went from being told I needed a hip replacement, being told that I have no options right now except for pain medication and just rest, sitting on my couch being a lump doing nothing, I went from that to being in the absolute best shape of my life. And uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to express to Diamond Dallas Page and all of you guys in the community what this program has meant to me and what you guys have meant to me for keeping me pushing forward. Um, this sounds really bad, but I'm gonna say it anyways. When I bought this program, I expected it to be like everything else. I had hoped that it would work, but I expected to fail. I really did, because I knew my limitations. I knew my body couldn't handle a workout. I've tried going to the gym. I've tried doing other programs and it just didn't work. My body was unable to manage that. And when I saw that I could do this and I could see that Arthur can do this and I could see all the success stories, Stacy and, um, and Dallas and I realized I can do this and I did do this and I will continue to do this as long as I'm physically able to stand. Um, I saw those 120 post pictures and I kind of got a little emotional. Because I look, if you look at my 120 pictures, you look at that first picture. Look at the frown on my face. Look at my skin. It's pale and sickly and the bags under my eyes. It's just the depression. I looked horrible. My stomach out to here. I felt like a mess. And I felt like that wasn't me. I was always so full of life before. And I look at my pictures now, my day 120 pictures, and I got emotional. I really did just seeing how far I've come and I see that person I was before and I look in the eyes of the picture of the guy in that picture and I see sadness and I see pain and I see depression and I see hopelessness and then I look at my 120 picture right next to it and I see a different person I see me back so I know this sounds kinda of cheesy and hokey but DDP and DDP Yoga and all of you guys in the DDP Yoga community help me get me back and I am forever in debt um, DDP Yoga Retreat this week. I can't wait. Uh, the fact that I'm going to be out there in Mexico with all you guys doing this with DDP is awesome. So I just want to hit this real quick and let you guys know uh, you guys mean so much to me. Um, and thank you for all your comments and your positivity on the site and my pictures. I love you guys. Uh, I'll keep doing these blogs as long as you'll watch them and as long as you keep feeling the bang.